Hi everyone, this is Panos and happy Friday. This one of uh, our live webinars here and today we'll be talking about hyper versus speed test. Um, so some of you might be familiar with both of these utilities but I'm sure everybody's familiar with speed test. This is the usual um, speedtest.net that you can use on your web browser that you use or you know the inflation in, in your company use to test their bandwidth connection. And how are these used usually? The most common use case is to prove that you don't have a network problem. If somebody complains about an issue, the first thing that comes to mind is that, oh, maybe the network. Let's check and see if we have the bandwidth we're supposed to have, right? Uh, and all, both of these tests, they do the same thing. The, the source of the you know of the test, which can be your browser with speed test, sends traffic to an internet-based server, measures how long it took to upload a certain amount of, of data, how long it took to download a certain amount of data, and from that you can derive um, what is your upload and uh, download bandwidth. So both of them do the same thing. The difference is that Speedtest is a browser-based utility. It's free, anybody can use it. And there are around 5,000 um, servers out there that you can use for your testing. Now, iPerf is a utility that you can use um, in your one network. And the good thing with iPerf is that you can control both the source of the uh, traffic and the destination which means um, you don't have to rely on third party servers that you don't know where they are, who manages them, how many others are using the same server at the same time. So iPerf is tend to be used in one networks and uh, speed test um, when you want to test your internet uh, upload and download speed. And um, you've seen the screen, when you run an iPerf, uh, a speed test.net, you go to speed test.net and uh, you um, click the run button and what it does is that it tries to find the closest server around you by using um, ping. So there's a list of servers that uh, are publicly available, tries to find the closest server and uh, once it finds that it starts uploading a certain amount of data, downloading data and find your upload and download speed. So very common utility that used is used by users. And the problem is that it's often being abused because you measure your speed, you don't find what you were supposed to be finding. If you are paying for 50 up and 10 down and you suddenly see that speed test gives you 25 up and five down, you start complaining. But again, when you run this test, you don't know if it's the server you are using to run your test, how well it's performing, how, how busy it is, and many other parameters that you cannot control. Uh, now let's move to iPerf. So iPerf now is um, is a test that, as I mentioned earlier, you control both the source and the destination of your test. And I'm going to show you first how this looks like on a Linux console. So of course, for iPerf, I guess the the trade-off is that you need to have to control both um, hosts, right? So I have here on the right-hand side a server in my network here. And I'm gonna start the Linux server, I'm gonna start on the command line and Niper server to receive traffic, right? Uh, for this test, okay. And now on the left hand side, I'm gonna start an Niper client as it's called. That's gonna send traffic to the Niper server I just set up. And I'm gonna see here on my screen that, oh, I can push up to 940, 942 uh, of traffic close to one gigabyte, this one gigabyte link, both of, this, both of them on the same switch, so they saturate the link, right? So, um, but here now I have, I know where, you know, my traffic is going from and where it's going to, and I have more reliable information. Uh, the drawback, of course, that you have to either ask somebody to start the Aper server for you at the remote site, um, or you have to remote to the Aper server and then send the traffic um, from the iPerf client. This is like, you know, the command line version of this tool. Um, it might be scary for some of you, but uh, there is also a GUI version of this tool. Uh, 
You see here that, for example, um, I ran the same test earlier a few minutes ago and I got again the same almost 940, 9, 942 mega BPS. And I can show you how this looks like if I run into once more. So this is the same iperf client I did, but um, you know now I have a nice GUI interface that can keep give me a nice plot here and I can change many other parameters. And this is the traffic from the server side. Um, so let me show you now how this ties to the NetBeast dashboard. Um, so here is our NetBeast dashboard and um, very quickly, let me jump into the screen. NetBeast is a tool that uses agents to measure, capture, and user experience. So each agent is uh, pretty much a Linux box and can run, run these types of tests, uh, either iperf or uh, speed test towards internet-based server. And here, uh, I show, I'll show you how this looks like. So in this case, I'm managing um, around 10 or 12 agents running um, a speed test three times an hour keeping statistics, historical for each one of these tests and being able to uh, compare, be able to compare very easily from my dashboard here by managing a number of agents, uh, all the information. Uh, so imagine now having to do this um, on a continuous basis uh, by on a browser, right? Or in a command line, having to, to track all this information, put them on a spreadsheet, it's gonna, it's gonna be very cumbersome. Uh, and very time intensive and uh, if you are trying to do it from multiple destinations, right? Uh, and similarly, the iperf test I'm showing you here is an iperf test between our San Jose and Pittsburgh offices. Uh, again, uh, I'm running this continuously, a few times an hour, um, and uh, I, I'm keeping historical uh, information. You can see here, actually, this is a UDP iperf, so it also gives me a jitter and packet loss between the two uh, locations. I can go back in time uh, for as much as I want, pretty much. So to summarize, iperf and speed test are two, um, you know, very useful tools that you can use to prove that it's not the network. Or at the at the end of the day, you can just use them to test your um, your links, right? Uh, what bandwidth you can push when you are troubleshooting, or even when you are testing and setting up your link. Um, uh, you can use either graphical or command line um, interfaces to run these tests. And uh, all these are integrated into the NetBeast dashboard where you can use them. Uh, you can use all your agents in a way that is scalable and uh, gives you statistics and analytics that otherwise very difficult and cumbersome to, to get. That's it for today. Uh, I prefer to speed test. Uh, test them yourselves if you want to try them on the NetBeast dashboard sign up for a, a free account on our website and I'll be happy to follow up with you. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.